We took the ferry and we got our tickets at the office as we weren't able to buy them online. As I mentioned, we weren't able to buy these tickets online. And at the time of this video, you can see they are experiencing issues with their online reservation systems or they have in the past, but they are back online. That's a long time to be offline because I don't know what the issues were, but we weren't able to book online. I've seen some other people complain about it. If you want to try to see if you can book online, you can go here and there's an option for tickets for residents and non-residents. Of course, us being from the U.S., we paid the non-residents rate. But to just see the rates off bat and at the time of this video, here are the rates. And for reference, children that are 10 years or above are considered for the adult rates. It also shows the pictures, economy seats, 35 for adult, 30 for children. For the VIP seats, 60 for each adult and child and 40 for the business seats for adult and child. And this is a non-residence rate and 100 for both adult and child in the royal seats. In this video, you're going to see us in the royal seats. So I'll show you what that's like. And we do get a glimpse of the VIP seats. We opted for the royal seats just because I get motion sickness and it also was our honeymoon. So I wanted to be as comfortable as possible. Just a warning, it's very chaotic outside. Beware of the porters who will try to take your bags because they want to escort you through so that they can get a tip. We did the royal class, so we were in a separate lounge and then we boarded early. So if you have any luggage, be mindful of some of the luggage will go in the checked area, but then you can take some, but you just have to be able to take it up the steps. This is the VIP seating. And then we go to our Royal class seats. Hey, what's up, y'all? So I'm in the royal class of the Chasm Ferry, the Kilimanjaro, and we're checking it from Dar to Zanzibar. While you're here, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more travel tips and travel news and travel hacks. It's free to subscribe. And it helps this channel tremendously if you comment and subscribe and it helps get this channel to other people who want to travel well. So please be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell for all notifications. Very spacious and royal class. The seats recline and you have a TV. Not only does the back recline, you also have the option to extend the lower part of the chair so that you can use the footrest. You do have to fill out an immigration card if you are not a local. So if you're a foreigner, you have to fill that out. There were snacks provided and there were snacks in the lounge as well. It's pretty good. It's like it's like a potato. So I got one of each. You get two. This is like a potato. It has like a curry taste to it. And then this is like a little meat pie. Pretty good. You get your choice of tea, coffee, juice, or water. And I was able to turn on my computer. There is Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi didn't work. So it's kind of touch and go. But I took that time to transfer some of my photos into a hard drive and backing them up. Then you can change the stations on the TV and connect with your headphones.
Make sure you check out the logistics plan that I have where I tell you how you can make this multi-city destination trip happen, the best way to save money on that trip, and it's below this video. The trip was about an hour, and you have to wait for your bags to come off, so you have to take note of what cart your bag was in. After going through customs and security, we met our driver who was already scheduled to pick us up. 